हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल नूर नेटवर्क गाइज इन दिस टूटोरियल वी विल बी कॉन्फिगरिंग एस टी टी पी एस इंस्पेक्शन सो बिफोर वी प्रोसीड विद द कॉन्फिगरेशन वी विल हैव अ ब्रीफ डिस्कशन ऑन एस टी टी पी एस इंस्पेक्शन देन वी विल प्रोसीड विद द कॉन्फिगरेशन सो गाइज वॉट इज एस टी टी पी एस इंस्पेक्शन एस टी टी पी एस इंस्पेक्शन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ चेकिंग एनक्रिप्टेड वेब ट्राफिक so in the earlier days of the internet traffic was sent over http in plain text this means nothing was encrypted and if someone intercepted traffic all of its data was exposed so with https the secure version of http traffic is encrypted the client and server goes through a process of back and forth communication to establish a secure connection https protects internet traffic from being monitored by unauthorized parties however it can also help bad actors hide their attacks so https encrypts and obscures every kind of data whether it is a person's banking data or a malware from an attacker so this is a place where https comes into the https inspection comes into the role so in checkpoint firewall during the time of https inspection as you can see over here on the screen checkpoint firewall sets up the two ssl connections over here it is tls right it's it's one and the same thing almost so, so it set up the two ssl connections one to the server the one to the server and one to the client as you can see from the client's perspective it is connecting directly to the server with no intermediary the traffic is instead redirected to the checkpoint product so any traffic initiated https traffic initiated is redirected to the checkpoint product checkpoint firewall for https inspection which is impersonating the website so the checkpoint firewall has the ability to view alter and block the content so by doing this what are the benefits you will gain So guys HTTPS inspection provide you greater visibility into network traffic and potential risks a higher chance of blocking malicious attacks on an organization's network an increased ability to enforce company security policies just add a note that HTTPS inspection goes by many names which includes SSL inspection TLS inspection TLS break and inspect and HTTPS interception So this was all about the short brief discussion on HTTPS inspection now we will be moving to our configuration let's go to smart console over here and we will begin with our configuration so the very first step for configuring the HTTPS inspection is you have to enable the HTTPS inspection right so guys just double click on checkpoint gateway over here and of course for https inspection you will require a url filtering blade to be enabled so let's enable the url filtering blade as well over here and then we will move to https inspection from the left side if you see https inspection just open this you will see that please follow these steps in order to enable https inspection step number 1 it is saying create or import an outbound ca certificate for https inspection So guys if you have a certificate with you you can simply click on import button and from the place you can locate it and proceed since we don't have a certificate with us now we will create a certificate so click on create button over here it is giving you issued by the domain name so we will give www.noornetworks.com you can give your domain name whatever you want what is your domain name you can give that for me it is www.noornetworks.com then you have to just generate a key and remember this because it will be re required for future references i will just retype okay and validity we will keep as default and we will click on okay as soon as you click okay it has started to create a certificate 
So it is creating a certificate now. And you can see that step number one, outbound sales certificate was created successfully. Now it is saying you either view certificate or export certificate. The very first thing we will view certificate and install it in our local machine. From here itself, you can install it in your local machine, which is our management station. I will click on install certificate and keeping the settings default, keep next, 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 next and finish. The import was successful. Okay. And click OK. Export certificate. Click on export certificate and you can save the certificate in your PC somewhere. Let's give the name. CP firewall certificate cp firewall certificate click on save button and it will be saved to your desktop so guys basically why we have exported and saved it uh, you can just install this certificate in your active directory and you can distribute to your clients from active directory and finally you will just check this button enable https inspection and click on ok so that's all just let me close verify if we have enabled the URL filtering. Yes, we have. Okay. Before we proceed with the rules configuration, we will install the policy over here. Whatever changes we have made, we will save it and push it to the gateway. Publish and install. Our policy package is lab policy and click on install button. The policy installation has started. We will wait till it is successfully installed. Okay, it is installed. Now we will proceed to the rules configuration. What we have done, we have enabled the HTTPS inspection and followed the steps. So for configuring the rules, you will go to security policies. On the left pane, if you will see over here, just wait for the page to load. Okay, these are your access control policies, right? still loading okay these are your access control policies on the left side if you'll see https inspection and you will see a policy right you have to click this and https inspection policy and you will see you already have one predefined rule right uh before we create rule just i will uh, explain you a small thing guys whenever you are doing https inspection you know what uh, the firewall does it uh, uh, act as a man in the middle where it inspect the encrypted traffic right so now for any traffic going it will inspect but the problem comes when it is a banking site you have like a confidential details and all and definitely it is not even a recommended practice that you inspect the traffic for the financial i mean for the banking uh, sites and all so for that uh, we will be adding one more policy so i will show you the very first we will be using the same predefined rule and uh, we will be Configuring this policy for the HTTPS, HTTPS inspection. So the name, let's keep predefined rule. Source can be any destination is internet. Services, what we are going to do is we will be adding HTTPS over here. Only HTTPS. Because it is HTTPS traffic which we want to inspect, right? We will remove this group, whatever it is. Category, you have to keep any because you have to inspect for each and all. Action, we will keep inspect. Track will be log the action, all the blades and install on your checkpoint firewall. So what we have done by, by configuring this rule, we said that for any source with the destination going to the internet uh, on the port number HTTPS, that is 443, uh, for any category, inspect the traffic. And we have to exclude the banking site now, right? We will create one bypass rule above this. 
let's give the name as bypass rule it will be similar source will be any destination is internet and the service is HTTPS let's remove this and the main change what you have to do over here is you have to define a category right you have to define a category and over sorry guys actually got minimized okay uh, you have to define a category and the category which you have to bypass you will search for financial services this is the one which you have to bypass from the inspection right and in the action you will say bypass track you will log the traffic and install on checkpoint gateway so let me again once again repeat what we did we defined a predefined uh, we have a configured a predefined rule not configured so done some changes in the predefined rule uh, we said that source can be uh, any destination is going to the internet services https for any category inspect the traffic which traffic https traffic and log the uh, whatever hits are coming on this policy log the log it and install it on checkpoint gateway as usual and then we were interested that we should not inspect the banking institution traffic banking sites so we created one bypass rule the bypass rule is sources any destination is internet the port is https uh, which category you want to bypass it is financial services action is bypass and again we have logged that uh, rule and install a checkpoint finally we are going to install this policy publish and install The package is lab policy and click on install button. So the policy is successfully installed and this is how guys you will be configuring the HTTPS inspection in the checkpoint firewall. So if you like my video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and do share with your friends. Thanks and see you in the next tutorial.